what's up guys today i want to go through how to create this trippy liquify effect if you're looking for some drag and drop presets then i'll leave those links down in the description and i'll go through them at the end of the video so here is my raw video clip and the first thing i'm going to do is just copy and paste this video clip by holding down option and clicking and dragging the video clip up i'm just going to press v to disable it for now and on the bottom video clip I'm going to go over to my effects tab and I'm going to go to the distortion section and then I want to add the underwater effect to this video. I'm going to move to the middle of the video clip, go up to the effects on the underwater and I'm going to turn the refraction down to zero and just add a keyframe. I'm going to turn the speed down quite low and then move back to the beginning and just turn the refraction right up to 200. So now we have this wavy effect which keyframes in and goes back to zero. We can also keyframe the size on this. So start it at kind of 0.7, add the keyframe button. And then if I press the arrow key on this keyframe that I already made, I can go to the part where the underwater effect completely disappears and just turn the size maybe up back to two. So now we have this kind of liquid effect there's also a few other distortion effects which you could use like wave. And if you have the effects expansion pack, a really good one to use is the bump map effect. So I'm going to add the bump map effect on. And then in the drop zone over here, I'm going to click the drop zone and then just select the video. Turn on repeat edges, set the amount to zero, go to the last keyframe that I made on the underwater effect and add a keyframe at of the amount at zero on the bump map effect and then go back to the beginning and turn this up you can see how it distorts the image if we change the direction as well another good effect to use is the refraction effect and this gives it a bit more of like a liquidy effect so we also just need to keyframe this start the refraction at 200 and then end it on zero the next effect I'm going to add is a glow effect and I'm going to use this glint glow effect and just change the settings until we get a nice glow. And then keyframe the mix so that it ends at zero. I'm going to turn it down to zero percent, add a keyframe where the effect stops, go to the beginning and then add a keyframe to 100 percent. And then I want to add like a color change effect. So I'm going to add the hue and saturation effect. And if we change the hue, then you can see the colors change. So I'm going to set it at zero at the start, move to the end of the effect and turn the hue up to 360 degrees so that it does a full cycle of hue change. And then I'm also going to turn up the color fringing on the glint effect and then turn the saturation up on this and keyframe the saturation. And then finally, I'm going to add some motion blur to this, which will smooth out the effects and just give it a bit of a nicer look. So now if I play this back, we have this cool trippy liquify effect to start off the video clip. To have this effect only happen in the background, we need to separate the subject and the background by masking out the subject. So if I re-enable my top video clip without all the effects, so now I need to mask out the subject of the video clip. And to do this, what you could do is go to the effects, go to mask and keying and add a draw mask onto this and draw around the subject and then keyframe it. I'm going to use this MRoto AI effect because it's super easy to mask out anything in your video clip. So I'm just going to add it on the video and then just simply draw around the subject or we'll even add this pole. Once the subject is highlighted, we just need to click on the tracker button here and then track forward. This effect will automatically create the mask. And if there's parts that it misses out, then you just need to go forward, draw onto them and then retrack the video. And then if we go to the effects and go to output, go to mask video. Now we have the subject all masked out and the effect is just on the background now, which looks pretty cool. So now we have that liquify effect just happening on the background of the video. If I go over to my effects tab over here and go to RN liquify, this is the preset pack 
which has all of these different presets and it also works with vertical video. So if we wanted to get the same effect, which I just created from scratch, then what we could do is go to the animate in, add on the liquify start preset. Over in the effects parameters, we have the drop zone, which you can add the extra distortion. So if I click the drop zone, the video clip, apply video clip, we have the extra distortion. And then if we go down, we go down, there's also some really cool glow effects, which you can just add on to the video clip. And then it has a fade in and fade out feature. So depending on what you're using it for. So now if I play that back, we have the liquify effect. So up in the parameters, we have all of the distortion effects, which you can change on the presets. You can also mix and match the presets. So if I add another one of these presets on, then it just gives a different type of effect. And if you didn't want to mask out the subject, you could also just use it as an effect on top of the video. We can also add these really cool liquify effects behind the subject by copying, pasting the layer and then adding the liquify effect onto that middle layer. And you get this really cool effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.